today's video, we're going to be showing you all about the EDM 760 engine monitoring system. Let's go ahead and get started. So our craft today, of course, is our lovely Beechcraft 2, which has got enough avionics to make anybody's head spin. But one of the great systems that it has is this lovely engine monitoring unit. Now, these are actually common on a lot of different payware aircraft, depending on what it is how you're flying around. The basic purpose of this unit is to allow us to see the various parameters of an engine and just kind of get a feel for how things are working. The basic display here is going to show you a couple different things. Uh, first of all, I'll double check your units in the upper left corner before you make yourself insane. Now, you're going to see a bunch of different numbers as well as a T for this particular aircraft. And you're also going to see an R with a bunch of numbers and a T. This refers to individual cylinders of the engine that you're currently flying. The L and the R simply refer to what engine we're dealing with on this particular aircraft. One of the things you're going to observe here is that it's just kind of chilling. Uh, you've got a bunch of flashing lights all over the place, uh, giving us all sorts of interesting information. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is you've also got this empty little LED here telling us that something's up with a particular component. That is simply referring to what you have as far as temperatures. These tall lines are exhaust gas temperatures. These little missing lines are going to be your cylinder head temperatures. Well, every aircraft has different limits as far as what they can tolerate. And I can already tell you right now that uh, cylinder four, which is uh, not getting a lot of cooling air right now, is a little warm. So it's definitely something we can take a look at. The other thing you're going to observe is across the top here and the bottom is a bunch of different information that's going to be appearing. Uh, we've got our gallons per hour, we've got used fuel, unless you set this up correctly, which I did not, uh, it won't have that. It tells us how much fuel remaining, it tells us how much we've totally used, and again, that would be negative depending on how you set your aircraft up before we took off today. You can also see things like mileage. Now, one of the cool tools you have is you have three buttons across the bottom. I said three buttons, even though you see two. One, of course, is going to be the step button. By clicking on that button, that will allow you to step through your cylinders. Now, the nice thing about this is let's say I want to pick up my cylinder, which seems a little warm, which is cylinder six here. I can click on that and I can look down and see that my cylinder on the left engine is 391. My cylinder on the right engine is 376. Now, if I just kind of step through this a little bit more, I can actually see all my different individual components. And again, it will light up whatever cylinder you're going for, depending on what you need to do. Now, if I select one of these pages and let go of it, it will stay on this page for 10 minutes before switching back to cycling. Now, if I just wanted to cycle, all you have to do is come over here, press this button once, and then press step quickly. And what that will do is flip it back to automatic mode. It'll also go back to the first page. So if I want to quickly zip through my cylinders again, I can just go press step, step, step. And I saw 394, I think it was my hottest cylinder. 391 is pretty warm. That's actually a little warmer than I like. And of course, you can also see our turbochargers and all that other stuff. Again, I can press this, boop, and that's going to go ahead and take us back to that automatic mode where it's going to cycle between it. Now, a minute ago, I said there's another button, and there's a hidden monitor both. If you push this, it switches between Fahrenheit and Celsius, depending on what particular unit that works best for you. Uh, just be mindful when you push that unit not to make yourself insane, that's all. Now, the next thing we have in this unit, which is very, very helpful, other than getting all this information across the BOP, which is a very, very helpful, like I said, for just kind of figuring out if everything's working correctly. Again, for me in the real world, I usually put it on the hottest cylinder and leave it there, and uh, that's pretty good. And of course, you've got everything else that we can do oil temperatures, you can see our, uh, if we're, our carburetor, you can see how cold everything is. Obviously, it's a relatively, you can also see the things like the differences between cylinder, but again, that's getting a little fancy for us, but that's okay. Instead, what I'm gonna do is reach over to the lean five button. One of the toughest things you could do as a pilot, of course, is figure out how to lean the mixture. And there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but this way just works great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here where it says Lean Find, and I'm going to press this button once. Now, what it's going to do is give us a heads up and warning that this is on. It'll actually flash right here to let us know. So what I'm going to do is grab onto the mixture control, and I'm just going to slowly pull it back. And what you're going to observe is my exhaust gas temperatures across my aircraft are going to slowly start creeping upwards depending on just how out of whack my mixture was when it started this particular process. And you can see they slowly, slowly start to rise up. Again, I can pull that sucker back a little bit more. Oh, there they go. See how they're all starting to spike? I'm just going to gently pull back the mixture. Gently pull back the mixture. No silliness. What it's doing now is identifying the hottest cylinder here. The hottest exhaust gas temperature, I should say. Pulling it back. Oh boy, we're getting a little warm here. Oh boy, we're getting really warm. I'm just pulling that mixture handle back nice and softly. Not going too hard. Oh, there it goes. And it says flashes and says PEGT. What this now does is this tells us how far off peak EGT we actually are. In this case, we're 45 degrees. Now, the cool thing here is we can now go ahead and enrich in the mixture. Now, if we were running lean of peak, what I would do is I'd pull the mixture back a tiny bit more to get 50 degrees lean of peak. Uh, that's <laughs> some seriously leaning this engine. And there are some people who have some opinions on leaning this particular set of engines. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to start slowly enriching the mixture. And by enriching, I'm just pushing that handle forward a little bit here. I've got to control my joystick for it. And I'm just going to push it gently 
again just a little bit more and you're going to see this temperature start to shift the other way now a minute ago if you remember we were 50 degrees over and again if i start pushing it you will start to see this number sliding into the negatives now that means we are now rich of our peak so what i'm going to do is give it just a little bit more gas and the magic temperature we're looking for is 50 degrees for leading this particular aircraft so again you got to kind of take your time on this you give it just a little bit of mixture let go and then kind of see what it wants to do here like i think i've just about found it Yep, one more click. That should do it. There we go, 50 degrees. And now our mixture is nice and leaned properly for our particular flight here. Now, one of the things to do is to give you this little handy dandy little knob on the side. And the cool thing is if you crank this, you actually have the ability to basically make it a little bit tighter, which slows this handle down if that's something that you need to do. Of course, if you're on a hardware joystick, uh, that's not gonna make much of a difference because it's gonna kind of do what it wants to do. Like even here, I could see I could probably go like one richer even for me kind of fitting with it. Once you're happy with it, I can just go over to the step. It's gonna give us a little heads up about the differential temperatures. And of course, if I wanted to, I could press lean, I could press step and then it's gonna switch back to automatic mode. And now everything is working correctly. Our aircraft is uh, very, very nicely leaned out. All of our cylinders are at their correct temperatures and everything is working perfectly. Now on other aircraft that you'll actually see this particular unit in, you'll have the single engine, you'll have the four cylinder, again, depending on what person or what payware plane that you're flying. But the procedure is basically gonna be exactly the same regardless of what you're doing. Enjoy.